Okay, I've taken this back this to my friend to have a look at his surface grinder and it won't fit. It won't go on his grinder, it's too big. Then I took it to another place that does engine head skimming and they couldn't do it either because it wouldn't fit. But they did come up with an idea. Well, this was my mate, Aidy, and he, uh, he came up with an idea of, of skimming this off or putting it back on the lathe and turning it down. So I'm going to try that. And to be honest, I probably should have thought of it. It's pretty obvious. But sometimes you need another or second opinion. So let's do it. on put this back on the other way around and get at it at the other angle which is pretty obvious right what I've done is I've made this contraption to try and uh, get to the other side of this the tool post normal tool post won't do it so this is just a piece of uh, I don't know, uh, what is it called channel a big piece of channel 100 mil I think that fits on there drill the hole um, Took the tool post off, just put that little that thing on there. That washer. And that hopefully. So hopefully from here I can actually get round. You can see I can wind the wind the tool in. And I've unfortunately I've been forced to weld or have welded the 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 uh the tool onto this or the tool holder onto the part now really big grudge doing that but at least i've what i've done is i've not welded on the top and the bottom surfaces which are the critical surfaces so hopefully might be able to recycle that so i can get in there now and i just hope it's uh, going to be rigid enough seems pretty solid we'll have to wait and see see how it, see how it goes i've got to just wait for it to cool down this is a this is a silly angle like that rather than it being square in order to make sure that it clears because when it was square and you were coming across the face like that this bit would have contacted so it wouldn't have got all the way across so that's put it at that daft angle but actually it kind of has worked out because it's jammed it up against that up against the dial and it's actually made it a bit hopefully a bit more rigid anyway i think it's cool enough let's give it a try see what happens Done it. Can you see that? Focusing. Make it focus. Yeah. That's good. Finally. Jody B when I did it I did put the o-ring groove on this side on the end cap side which is what, exactly what I wanted to do on this one but because of that 
rigmarole that we had of trying to face that off. I'm, I'm going to put it on this one instead because this was a lot easier to machine. So right or wrong, it's going on this one. I don't think it's going to make any difference. Well, it won't make any difference to the ceiling, which is what it's for. Baby, hello, hello. I've put the original piece back in, and I've sort of difficult to see, yeah. impossible to see, in fact, from the camera. It's pretty near. Flat, as much as I can get it within. I can't see the dial. It's ten thousandths that up anyway. But I'll have to go another skimming pass now before we can put the O-ring groove in. Using this, this is a made by P Horn of England grooving tool, and I remember when I bought it, it was ludicrously expensive. I mean, I mean, when I say expensive, I mean I think it was something like 160 pounds for the for the tool holder only. P H Horn, yeah, don't know who it was. Right, let's load it up. Good though. Can't fault it. It's pricey. This is going to be a five mil only roof, four point four to five mil depth. Done the first pass for the groove that's three millimeters by four and a half deep it needs to be five mil wide but it's easier now because it's more like a boring operation on the tool rather than grooving so it should be almost there now I'll put it on the drill press Finished of just checking the O-ring. This is five mil O-ring. Make them up myself. So that's pretty good. See the half a mil overhang. Spot on. I cut three pieces of this angle which is going to hold hold that end piece in place, I hope. Look at the state of the saw. It's such a mess. Still hasn't been cleaned. I hate it. <laughs> 